Hey guys, today I am here with another video. Duh. Um, I need to find the questions now. It's a tag. I don't remember what it's called right now. Hang on, does it say on here? 15 questions tag, which was created by All That Glitters 21, also known as L Flower Fabler. Sorry, Fabler. Um, so there's 15 questions, and I'm just gonna answer them. And yeah, I needed a video for this channel, so here you go. This is so comfy. I'm wearing really, like, almost everything I'm wearing today is brand new. So if you want to see my outfit of the day, go follow me on Instagram. will be linked down below. But anyway, yeah. Question one. What do you think you can do but can't? There's a lot of things I can do but I actually cannot. For example, well, I think I can, like, speak, write and read Finnish fluently. I can sort of, but I'm not as good as at it as I would think I could be. So like, I'm not actually that good and I make lots of mistakes and stuff. So yeah. Question two. Uh, what's a difficult word for you to pronounce? There's quite a lot, but one that I recently just learnt how to pronounce is Hephaestus, which is a Greek god of what's this, like machinery and stuff. I don't know what he specifically is a god for it, but still, Hephaestus. Three. What is your favourite, what is a favourite TV show from your childhood? Um, I don't exactly remember what I watched as like a real, like really young, like five or something, because, well, I lived here and I know that I watched this thing called Morning Milkshake, I think it is, I think it came from like Channel 5? No, it was one of those kids' channels or something. I think it was like CBBC or CBBs or something like that but um, it was like morning milkshake and there was many different programs on that ones that I specifically remember seeing are Postman Pat and um, this Oswald guy I think he was like the blue octopus or something with the orange dog I don't know but yeah four what are your virtues and vices my virtues and vices I don't know I just learnt what those words mean um a virtue the quality of doing what is right and avoiding what is wrong well I don't procrastinate with my homework I guess that could be a virtue maybe and a vice the opposite to virtuous frailty moral weakness um a habit that spoils one's chances of achieving personal happiness. One thing that spoils my chances of achieving personal happiness is I guess that I I sometimes underestimate what I can do and then I sometimes underestimate how much I can hurt people and that type of stuff I guess. <laughs> yeah. Five. What's more important? Love, fame, power or money? I think it's going to be love because if you have love in your life I think you're fine. You don't need fame or really power. You do need money but if you have love you can survive pretty much. Yeah. Six. Um, if you could live in any era slash time period when would it be and why? Um. <sighs> um. It would be really cool to live in like the historic times, like I can't think of anything specific, but um, it would also be kind of annoying. I guess it would be fun, I'm not trying to show what time this is, but it would be fun to live in the time where there was like pirates and stuff, and people used to fight with swords and that type of stuff, because I'd really love to learn how to like fight with a sword and bow and arrows and those types of things. I'm not entirely sure what time that is, so, but like that, because it would be so awesome. Seven. If you could, if you had to redo your entire wardrobe with two stores, what would they be and why? I'd probably go with H&M and Zara, because I have lots of clothes from H&M, like this flannel, and lots of clothes from Zara, like my trousers right now. I can't just show them to you, because I'm going to kick my hamster's cage if I do. Ugh. But they're black. <laughs> um, oh, you can see them in my picture. I just posted on Instagram this morning in my OTT picture. Number eight. K 
Can you recall you what you were doing a year ago on this day? February, what is it now? February... February 20th. February 20th, wait, it was the 18th. 19th. February 20th was a Wednesday last year, yeah, and I was living in India, I remember this so clearly now, and there was a strike. Um, I started school in India February 18th, and that was a Monday, then there was the 19th, I went to school, then it was Wednesday and Thursday, which was the 20th and 21st, and they were both a strike, and I remember it being like, oh wow, this is so awesome, like, I've only been in school for two days, and I, now I don't have to even go, because there's a strike, and no one wants to drive and stuff. And I don't exactly remember what I did exactly on those days, but I remember it was a strike, and I just didn't have to go to school. So yeah, that was pretty good memory, huh? Well done. Mm -hmm. Number nine. Um, do you have re reoccurring dreams? If so, explain. They're not exactly reoccurring, but I have lots of dreams where I can fly. Like, um, I just have to do like this and I can fly, but it takes effort. And Oh, I just shut my phone. Um, but it takes effort, and, but I can fly like this, but it just takes lots of effort and I'm the only one who can do it. And sometimes if I lose control, I, can't, I don't have to do this. I just bounce around like I lost all sense of gravity. I do have tend to have that dream a lot, but it always changes in what I do in the dreams, but I can always fly, which is kind of creepy, but yeah. Ten. Ten. Mm. What's your horoscope? This is a word I can't pronounce. I think it's Aries. A-R-I-E-S. I guess that's how you pronounce it, Aries. Yeah. Eleven. Uh, what does your dream bedroom look like? I would love to have like a bedroom where I have like, it's really not too big, but still really spacious so that I have space to move around because my bedroom here is fairly small. Um, and so that I'd have a walk-in closet and it would just be huge, like about the size of my bedroom now. <laughs> And there would just be like clothes on the walls and there will be just a stool in the middle and yeah and then out in my bedroom i'd have my bed i really like the bed i have now so probably this bed but space so that i could spread it out because this is uh, like a sofa bed so i can spread it out into a double bed there's not a lot of space to do that here but so that i'd be able to spread it out and um i'd probably have an entire wall which would be really long with loads and loads of bookshelves on it filled with books and then hopefully another room filled with bookshelves which are filled with books it's like a whole other library room and in the library room I'd love to have like a little corner where I can just sit and read and I'd love to have a Starbucks maker like Starbucks coffee tea and drink maker Starbucks drink maker in my red room and just yeah and I'd love to have like a little secret room that no one knew about and only I can go there. Like maybe it's like a little secret door behind my clothes in the walk-in closet. That would be so awesome. Oh, also my own bathroom with a bathtub and shower. Yeah, that would be nice. Um, Twelve. What position do you sleep in? This is an annoying question because I don't know. <laughs> I don't actually know what position I sleep in. I don't, I don't even remember how I wake up in the mornings now. When I go to sleep, I lie on my back and I kind of just try and get uncof like uncomfortable, comfortable. I just kind of like throw my hands wherever they tend to, tend to land. My legs are usually just pretty straight, maybe a bit bent. Mm. And I sometimes like sleep on my side, kind of just like curl. Like, uh, but I'm really not sure. Just whatever seems comfortable, but I don't sleep on my stomach and with my head like that on the pillow because that really hurts my neck. I remember I did that a couple of times where I probably just did it in my sleep and then I wake up and oh neck cramp really bad. 13. Who is your favourite vampire of all time? Probably. Hang on let's see what vampire books have I read. I have two kind of. I have um Les Lisa Dragomir or Lisa. Lisa from Vampire Academy, she's a vampire, they just don't call it really vampires, or Raphael Santiago from, well, Cassandra Quest, Shadowhunter, well, because he's in like all the books really, yeah. 14. What are you currently wearing on your feet? 
purple ankle socks. I don't wear shoes inside the house because my mum doesn't allow it. Hang on. This camera's really... There you go. 15. Do you have neat handwriting? Show us. Um... I, my handwriting's like... I was so close to falling off. My handwriting isn't the neatest, but it isn't the messiest either, and it's fairly easy to um, read. It looks like that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Go check out my Instagram, Twitter, and my other two channels, which will be linked down below. And yeah, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!